Yeah, I just picked up a uh, used analog scope that's been uh, calibrated and all that type of stuff. It's got a couple probes with it. And uh, so I decided to uh, go ahead and, you know, I just want to verify, like, you know, well, I know the basic generator is totally accurate, but sometimes if I'm setting something a certain way, I don't know if I'm doing it right or what, so I'd like to see it on the scope. So it's it's got two channels. This is a I got the manual for it. It's an Atachi um, V35, I believe it is, um, and um, it has um, two channels. It could take up to 100 volts input or something, I believe it is, and um, excuse me, 300 volts input. So. Uh, you know, I figured to get something like this because when you buy something new with all the digital whiz, whiz bang um, bells and whistles, uh, this is an old standby that's been around for a while. So I got it set on uh, each increment is uh, five volts. So it's putting out. This is putting out, you know, 20 volts, basically 10 volts peak to peak, and um, you can see the generator. I got it set on there. So if I go to the, let's say. Um, the offset and then bring it down, we'll bring it down to zero percent offset. You can see it's going ten volts to ten volts back and forth, and then you can bring it down so it's going negative offset. So probably the generator is more accurate than the oscilloscope, but uh you know what I like about this if I start setting some waves or something like that and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, or maybe I'm unsure about something. I've read the manual a whole bunch of times. But sometimes I'm, I'm more interested in setting everything on 100% positive offset, and I'm kind of wondering, you know, what it's going to do. So, but um, this puppy is pretty neat. So, uh, you know, it's probably worth it to get something like this. It's, it's been calibrated, all checked out, and everything. So, uh, but uh, you know, of course, the spooky generators are accurate, of course, but. Uh, you know, it probably behoove you to get something like this versus going with a brand new digital because a brand new digital, uh, for the money, you're going to get pretty high up. Now, there's other brands out. This is an Itachi. This is probably not bad, but there's other stuff out there that's a little bit better that's used at. But I didn't like it because it had more, more controls on it. I read the manual on this, and I can pretty much understand it just from reading the manual once. So, uh it's 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 you know it's like you, you can just set it very easily this is um you know it's got like the volts you set the volt scale and um the size of you can measure the frequency it's all analog so you got to kind of like you know look at it and see what the heck's going on <laughs> or take a picture of it or something with your camera and analyze it from there but uh it's still, it's still, it's something. It's a great little tool to go ahead and uh, check out what you're doing when you're setting these things up. Because I know the manual tells you everything, but I'm very interested in having it where it works at 100% positive offset. And you know what I probably will do is set the frequency way down just to see what the basic principle is if it actually is running positive offset, and uh, to get some. Um, you know feedback as to uh, you know what's going on with the uh, you know the, the actual wave in other words what the actual principle is and then when you set it up further you know you actually do it further it's uh, going to be um, you know in other words if you set it at one Hertz and you can read the scope and it's nice and clear or whatever four Hertz and you know your frequencies are other ranges you know as long as you got the principle right then you know you got it set up right because I'm a little bit sketchy on using inverse sync with two outputs when you're used to using the two red uh, red wires with positive offset and I like to see it on a scope to make sure it's actually going positive offset I'm pretty much sold on what Holder Clark said about positive offset and uh, I guess the disadvantage is because when you're doing this like you look you know you're getting more of a swing in voltage which is making the you know if that's the oscillatory rate of the micro microorganism that it doesn't like you're actually shaking it even more by not using any offset but 
if this thing actually pumps out quite a bit when you're using two channels with the two wires you're actually you're actually getting double the voltage when you're using that inverse sink and I'm not talking about with the boost cable I'm talking about when he has it where you can uh, coordinate the two channels together so um, you know it still has plenty of voltage so glad I got this little puppy and um, you know I'm gonna be checking some of the zappers out and making sure you know see what kind of actual frequencies they're really putting out and um, it's probably best just going with old-school analog you know I'm figuring it's a little harder to read but you know these things have been around it was workhorses and uh, they should be around for many more years so I'm not going to use it that much I don't expect to but uh, I figure this is a very useful tool to have and like I said I have the um, scope manual that's exactly what it is it goes up to 40 megahertz uh, I don't think I'm going to even be using anything over a few megahertz probably because that's you know, Royal Rife never use anything over a few megahertz, so it goes up to about 40 megahertz. Should be pretty accurate. Um, it's got all the instructions with it, and uh, you know, it's it explains everything. So I should be okay with this deal just because I got the manual. But it's a fairly simple oscilloscope. So, uh, but you know, I should be checking out because what I want to do, like I said, is so I'm um, a more what the only thing I didn't see in the manual was about the effects of positive offset when you're running both outputs let's say H-bomb or something with the H-bomb square wave is it really you know I think you have to do inverse sync 100 percent positive offset on channel 1 and minus 100 percent positive offset on channel 2 and this is where I'm talking I'm not talking about using the spooky boost I'm talking about actually um, using the um, separate outputs where you're just using the red wires off of them and you're not using the black wires at all so um, you know I'm gonna have that question answered for me with this because even though this may not be the best deal going around it's uh, it still works and it still should be pretty damn accurate it's, it's within tolerance it's been checked out so you know if you're interested in getting an oscilloscope there's actually better ones around. I think there's uh, more famous brands that have been old standbys than this one. But uh, this manual was tough to find. I did find a manual, though.